Okay. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to join today's session. Uh, my name is Shu Quan from 99 Cloud. Today, this topic we, I will talk about uh, a collaboration we working with Shanghai Jiao Tong University and Intel to build a bare metal Kubernetes cluster for HPC on OpenStack. And we are uh, putting the translation medicine research uh, workload in our uh, bare metal Kubernetes cluster. So this is uh, three parties uh, collaborations. Uh, because of some uh, visa issues, uh, people from uh, the Dr. Luo from uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University cannot join this session to present with me, but uh, I have another, uh, another uh, friend from Intel. He will join this session later on. He, he, he missed the time, so I will get started first, and he may join, join us uh, maybe 10 minutes later on. And uh, this is all the collaborators doing this project. Uh, Xuan Luo from Shanghai Jiao Tong University, Ali Chiao from Intel OTC, Jeff from Intel OTC, he will present with me, and Yu Fei and myself from uh, 99 Cloud. So uh, let's get started. Today's uh, agenda, first of all, I will share with you the background of the Shanghai Jiao Tong University. I will share with you the cloud journey of uh, of Shanghai University, how, why, why they want to build a cloud, why they uh, want to put the HPC workload on the cloud, and I will give you guys a um, cloud service overview of uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and the reason they want to put the HPC workload in the cloud. And the uh, last uh, two parts, uh, I will share with you guys about the detail uh, tech technical detail, how to build a bare metal Kubernetes cluster uh, in OpenStack by using Magnum and Ironic. And the next steps contain our um, thinkings and some considerations during the whole uh, solutions. First of all, uh, cloud journey of Shanghai Jiao University as you know, uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University is the top, top five university in China. It, the university is in, uh, majorly located in Shanghai, and he has many college, colleges in the uh, university. Ma a lot of co uh, compute resources, they are distributed because different colleges, they will purchase different hardware for their internal IT usage or their scientific research, which will cause the hardware cannot come centralized to management and the hardware they purchase have very low utilization. For example, the CPU utilization will be below maybe 10%, 10 percent, 10 percent. And uh, Normally, they do not have professional IT administrator to manage the um, IT infrastructure, such as the switches, uh, servers, storage. So um, they will use, they will um, ask the students to how to man, uh, operate the servers in their sparing time. So that will cause a problem: is there is very high failure rate and energy consumptions when the, this college used the servers alone. Because the administrator or operator, they are not professional, so they cannot com guarantee the SLA. And that will, will, will uh, let the college, each college, for example, the, the life science college, they cannot focus on their own science research, like the genomic research. They have to spend a lot of time working with the IT department to, to, uh, to troubleshooting the, the, the infrastructure. So Shanghai Jiao Tong University, they plan to, organ, to um, set up a new department to centralize, manage all the resources which contain the uh, physical servers, storage, and uh, networking devices and centralize them in a cloud environment to support 
the IT uh, internal university IT uh, IT uh, requirements, and also hoping uh, hoping those uh, devices, those services can provide different colleges to meet their scientific research. So that is the problem of the uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University they meet. Also, you can see the data. We have so many colleges spending a lot of money. According to the inter uh, internal data of Jiao Tong University from 2013 to, to 2015, they purchased over 1,000 servers with for over 40 million RMB invest in different colleges. So we can imagine if there is a, a department, they centralize all those equipment. They can, we can reduce those costs with, and with several professional um, IT department mentioned them in cloud environment and provide the cloud services to those uh, college for their scientific research or for the IT hosting uh, applications. So, as I just mentioned, the mission of the uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University Cloud Services, they want to centralize all the hardware and improve the overall utilizations. And also, they can, uh, they can uh, use some, uh, let have some professional IT administrator to provide stable services for different colleges. And what's more, that is uh, because the scientific research area have to, um, have to require high skill administrator, uh, high skill administrator to support them, normal students cannot uh, serve those uh, responsibilities. So uh, also they are require a, a very conflict applic uh, infrastructure to serve the scientific research areas. Before, different colleges has different infrastructure. The information is located, actually is located in different silos. By integrating them into a cloud environment, we can integ the integrate the data from the whole university. So we can improve the collaborations between different colleges. For example, science, uh, life science, they f want to focus on how to research the genomic or some uh, or, or, or other, other life science problems, but they do not have high uh, advanced knowledges on how to program or how to do data mining on different genomic. So they can collaborate with the computer science college to work with them together. But without cloud, they cannot do those uh, activities together. By centralizing all the resources, we can have different colleges work in different tenants. They can also have some uh, share resources together to share some research data. So we can improve all the scientific research results within the whole university. So uh, as we can see, in a university, we have different workloads in a cloud. First of all, uh, it's an education cloud, which means we can put a lot of uh, teaching applications, uh, university websites in those clouds. That is a very normal requirements, just like, uh, uh, like the normal IT hosting requirements. On the other hand, we can see uh, we have HPC workload. We have do many uh, high performance computing, such as the uh, the the the, light, the the pi calculation or some benchmark calculation, uh, genomic database uh, mining, tax mining, such kind of HPC workload. Also, if we would like to have um, um, quick result or response in the whole uh, uh, scientific research, the university itself cannot afford all the infrastructures. Some HPC workload or some scientific workload, they may leverage some, uh, may need to leverage some hybrid cloud capabilities. 
when we do small scope scale calculations, we can do it in the uh, university cloud, but some circumstances we have to scale out to the public cloud, leverage the public cloud or some government providing the supercomputer uh, computing environment to calculate all the scientific results together to uh, return the result to the scientific professor. So as we can see, Shanghai Jiao Tong University cloud services actually can have these four, uh, four computing, uh, four ha have to provide these four computing services, HPC, normal IT hosting education cloud, Contain, uh, can scale out to the public cloud, which means we have to enable the hybrid cloud capabilities. Also, we also have to uh, leverage some supercomputing uh, capabilities provided by the China government. But in this case, I will not cover the public cloud and the supercomputing. Well, I will cover the, uh, the, the, the HPC cluster and the normal IT hosting education cloud. So currently, Shanghai Jiao Tong University providing two cloud services. We call it J Cloud and uh, HPC Cluster. Let's see what's, uh, what's th those two services. First, uh, HPC Cluster. This is a cluster with, uh, consists of uh, 14 nodes, which install with the CentOS 6.5, and since 2015, they are, the user is increased by 89%. And this cluster is uh, provide uh, services uh, for the uh, customer to use Slum to, to, uh, to, to schedule the HPC workload. And they, uh, the network has, uh, can, can uh, respond for high output. They are, they use the InfiniBand over the OFAT driver to implement the high, out input, uh, high, high bandwidth the network outing, uh, outage. Uh, the net network, uh, network uh, bandwidth, I'm sorry. The total CPU and GPU usage uh, utilization is, uh, is, high, uh, is over 60%. They also use the luster with uh, IMDA to uh, serve as a file system. The typical job running on this cluster is like the benchmark running link pack in the, in the cluster and use the genomic, uh, the G tag to uh, calculate the genomic and some uh, modular dynamic lengths, some uh, CFD uh, calculations using the open form. So that's the general status of the HPC cluster. The problem of the current HPC cluster, it is operated by a separate uh, H department. They focus on improve the utilization of the HPC and maintain the stability of the HPC cluster. It's not, this cluster currently is not managed by OpenStack right now. The second cloud service is what we call is a J Cloud. This pilot seems the 2013 July with six, uh, uh, with 15 nodes and full 10 gigabyte network uh, set up in this environment. This is the first OpenStack education cloud in China universities. Currently, this cloud has uh, uh, has provided uh, over 300 users and colleges to use this cloud. And normally this cloud do not, uh, currently do not provide uh, the high performance workload. It only provide the IT, su uh, IT support and internal the DevOps and teaching application hosting. So the next step we would like to use this cloud, the J cloud, which is uh, set up, uh, deploy, uh, OpenStack deployment, we would like to use this cloud to manage the HPC cloud and provide and run some HPC workload in this OpenStack. So first, we pick up the, uh, we, we research, and we do a lot of selections on the HPC cloud, we, which uh, HPC workload. We would like to use the, uh, try to 
try, try to use the tradition uh, translation medicine research workload, putting it, this workload in this H, uh, J cloud. What's the translation medicine research? I cannot <laughs> tell detail of that because I'm not an expert of that uh, areas. But as you can see, they, this uh, workload they normally is like a text search, mining, and like the database, uh, database uh, operations. For example, the genomic DB calculation and some uh, design. So it's not uh, so uh, networking intensive or, um, or, or IO intensive workload. Uh, we can put it on the uh, it's CPU, majorly it's a CPU, work, CPU intensive workload. So we can put it in the J Cloud to use OpenStack except a bare metal uh, Kubernetes cluster to manage it. So the benefit of uh, ma manage HPC in cloud, by using OpenStack, we can uh, easily set up multi-tenancy environment and provide self-services to the professor. And OpenStack is naturally supported. And we are more easily and flexible to manage the HPC cluster by just a click, send a command to the uh, Magnum. They will help us to uh, pro provide a Kubernetes cluster and put our ac application in the cluster and running the workload and we can get the results from the volume. And by using the OpenStack cluster, we can centralize the HPC infrastructure and the cloud, normal cloud infrastructure and improve the overall utilization very quickly. So uh, how can we achieve that? The solution is we have to pick up the HPC workload very carefully, but because some of the HPC workload, they are not naturally supported in the cloud environment. For example, I just mentioned some HPC workload, they, ha they are the uh, network intensive or IO intensive that we have to set up those environment in the uh, cloud, OpenStack cloud environment. That is uh, hard for some uh, administrator and and after we decide to put some HPC workload in the uh, in the cloud environment then we can pick up a s architecture or solution to figure out how OpenStack can manage the AP HPC infrastructure after we use OpenStack to quickly provision the HPC infrastructure we can use the OpenStack to deliver the HPC infrastructure by using the uh, pre-configured pre image or some uh, templates by hit to deliver the HPC workload to the environment. So uh, that is the background introduction. I, I will give you the technical detail implementation on building the bare metal Kubernetes cluster on OpenStack. So, uh, Jeff, do you want to share? Okay. Excuse me, do you have a mic? Hand? Okay, thanks. Wait. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, just now, uh, Shu Quan has mentioned uh, how the cloud computing or the OpenStack can help HPC uh, in the SPC area. Uh, maybe the performance will be uh, cared, uh, cared about a lot. So uh, we, uh, based on OpenStack technology, we need to build a bare metal cluster uh, instead of a virtualization uh, virtual machine cluster. So, uh, 
In the next uh, several uh, minutes, I will introduce some uh, uh, technical details about uh, how we build a bare metal cluster for the RHPC uh, uh, scenario. <coughs> uh, so uh, we can see uh, we have uh, several uh, specific requirement uh, for the for the RHPC uh, scenarios. So uh, we can see. Uh, in uh, some time, in uh, for the IGPC uh, user cases, we need uh, the, the the user uh, need to uh, the user program need to access some special hardware directly. So sometimes the virtual machine cannot do that. So uh, it, 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 it we must to run the uh, pro program in the bare metal directly. So. Uh, that's uh, one uh, special requirement. Another one is uh, the performance. Uh, HPC, we know uh, HPC the computing ability is a very uh, how to say it's the uh, it's the central problem we need to care about. So uh, if we run the, I think we uh, as we all know, if we run the program inside the virtual machine, uh, the Overhead, as our experience, is at least will be seven or eight, seven to eight percentage. So uh, it's better we uh, to avoid to use the virtual machine. And and uh, if uh, as we know the, the Docker, uh, the containers can help a lot in the DevOps area. So. Uh, and for the for the maintenance uh, convenience, we'd better to put the, the program inside the container as well. So, so how we combine the bare metal and the container technologies? So that's uh, our direction to think about the solution. And also uh, for the deployment, uh, if if uh, uh, we want to use the open stack and container technologies some uh, maybe uh, based on docker uh, above the docker we need some uh, orchestration layers uh, management uh, our solution is the kubernetes right uh, if how to deploy uh, kubernetes above the open stack based bare metal cluster so uh, our answer is uh, to Two uh, project we need to 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 focus on. Uh, one is the Magna, another one is the uh, Ironic. Yeah, I can we can we can uh, have a look uh, about the OpenStack Magna project. Uh, I think Magna project has been two years old, so I think everyone uh, uh, in the uh, OpenStack community uh, have heard about the Magna. And maybe uh, already know about the uh, design details. So we can see uh, we will provide uh, Magnum. Uh, uh, we can pro the Magnum services will provide uh, API to the end user, and the API can use the uh, can uh, forward the user re for, uh, request to the uh, to the to the other OpenStack uh, services to. Uh, to set up the con to set up a tenant based uh, 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 cluster for the uh, to be ready to deploy the container orchestrations uh, the the ten the tenants the cluster named uh, okay it's in the B in the concept of the magnum and the user then can deliver uh, ten, ten, can, can, sorry to deploy the some uh, uh, container orchestration uh, system inside the tenant uh, 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 cluster, the bay. Uh, the user can choose from the Kubernetes, uh, the Apache methods, and the Swarm. Uh, I think the currently the, the, the Kubernetes support is the most uh, mature one. So we, we use um, uh, Kubernetes inside the uh, Magnum bay. Uh, from di diagram, uh, another uh, another thing we need to care about is uh, uh, we know the Magnum we use the heat template to uh, do the other yeah to do the uh, 
uh, the deployment management. And another project very uh, important to our HPC cluster solution is Ironic. Uh, Ironic window uh, in uh, OpenStack is also very, uh, it's, uh, it's very, uh, I think it's uh, uh, currently, it's now it's uh, one, of the, one of the core services already. So it's for the bare metal provision management. It means, uh, mm, okay, uh, the user, want to use, uh, uh, want to set up uh, bare metal from, the, uh, from scratch. And after power on, how to install the op operating system. And the operating system, the image can, how to build it, how to manage it, and how to choose it. So the Ironic will provide a total solution for the bare metal uh, provision. Uh, <coughs> for our RGPC uh, cluster, uh, the first uh, step, we will use uh, 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 we will use the ironic ability to provision all the uh, all the uh, 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 HPC uh, specific customized operating system image into the bare metal, and then next step to use Magnum to deploy Kubernetes. Uh, <coughs> some. Uh, we, uh, it's, it's, it, it can be uh, considered a very natural solution for the SPZ cluster actually, but uh, at the, at the, during, during, the, during the deployment, we have found some uh, very special question uh, problem that we need to, 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 uh, to, 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 to address. Uh, this uh, mainly, uh, it has three, uh, three uh, points of the, Problems. One is the bare metal networking model problem. Another is the OS image the choice, uh, and uh, then uh, the storage problem. And we need to also to be yeah, care about. We can see the the, the first uh, problem is the bare metal networking. Uh, we can we know um, uh, pr uh, previously the ironic can all can only provide the flat networking model for the bare metal in the provision uh, uh, time. But uh, from, I think from, from Newton, uh, <coughs> Ironic uh, community has, a, has done very beautiful work to, uh, to support the multiple tenancy network. Uh, so uh, at the time point, it, we, uh, in, the, in the time we, uh, we set up the HPC cluster, use uh, uh, Ironic, it's a very, uh, it's a, it's a, it helps us a lot for the multi, multi tennis network. Yeah, we, in our solution, we need to use, use it. And another, uh, about the multi tenant network configuration, uh, in, our, uh, in our operation practice, uh, we found that there are some uh, tricky, uh, tricky problem. Oh, we need to, or oh, it's uh, some workaround we need to uh, uh, go through the solution to, to, to let it work well. It's uh, uh, the, for the for con configurations. Uh, uh, the first uh, problem is the, for the public the network, we need to set the external router to true in the configuration. And, uh, and uh, also we need to, to set up the floating IP. Uh, if, uh, Anyway, the upload IP can also be disabled if we need not to access the external network. Uh, another thing is uh, the private, private network setup. Uh, the name is need to be uh, named is, uh, as a private, uh, this word. Yeah, this is the book around. I think the, some bug uh, already still in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the community code. So. Uh, next, uh, we have also uh, after the after the setup solution, we have found some uh, a lot of uh, bugs in the community code, uh, and uh, we can show in the in the last page we have uh, uh, submit uh, a bunch of uh, patches to fix them. Uh, <coughs> another thing is about the bare metal operating system image choice. Uh, currently, we are using Fedora operating system. 
and uh, uh, in the uh, based on the vanilla Fedora operating system, we need to uh, uh, install several Kubernetes related packages. It's a it's also a lot of a uh, uh, a lot of packages. I haven't list all the packages list here. It's a it's a long list. It's a Kubernetes, uh, Docker, uh, and and uh, some uh, some uh, for some uh, network set up uh, components. A lot of so uh, anyway, uh, the, 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 uh, based on the Fedora, and then we install the package. This is a customization practice. We need to use a disk image build tools to, to, to do it. I think it, if the, the ironic developer know, know it very well, so I just uh, to point it out, this tool is uh, inside the, uh, actually this tool is from the ironic project, so it's the, it's the standard tool for the ironic user to do such things. And uh, for the, all the different nodes, maybe the, some node is uh, focused on the um, uh, resource management, some other node to focus on the computing tasks. But for the, all the bare metal nodes, we, are, uh, we, are use, uh, we, <coughs> we will use uh, uh, unified images for, yeah, for convenient. And, <coughs> and for the pro, uh, bare metal storage problem, uh, currently, uh, Ironic, I think, I don't, I don't uh, have no support for the sender remote values. So we can only use the local values. So we just uh, yeah, mount the local disk device into the, uh, into the, uh, the node. Uh, <coughs> Here is uh, two uh, blocks to, to, to describe how to uh, do such things. So uh, if uh, you have interest, uh, maybe uh, you can, you can, you, we, we can, uh, we, currently we have no time to, to go through all the details for the, all the detail setups, uh, step by step, they're very helpful. Uh, so I just list a URL here. If you have interest, I want to use it, you can uh, check it out offline. Uh, <coughs> What's the next plan for our RPPC at uh, the, 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 this setup? So is, I think this is the first uh, um, practice for, uh, for Shuqian team, for SGTU uh, team. Uh, but uh, there's also a lot of things we need to improve in the, in the future. Uh, the first one is uh, the, <coughs> the, the node figure out problem. Um, I, I, here, I mean the, uh, the outer scaling problem. So currently, we, uh, if we want to use, uh, add uh, more nodes into the cluster, we need to set up the, uh, manually, uh, step by step. It's not very, uh, uh, how to say, efficiency. So in the future, we need to add some uh, auto scaling, uh, scale out ability, so to let the ops work. Uh, yeah, much convenient. <coughs> Another thing is uh, uh, currently we have no uh, load balance support for our bare metal network. Uh, uh, after the community work is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is can be used uh, mm, uh, can be used uh, stably, uh, we can add the load balance support also as well. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> As I, uh, as I just now I mentioned in last page, the sender volume, the remote volume, we cannot use it. So it's uh, uh, not convenient in, uh, in many times. So if we, uh, in the future, if Ironic can support the uh, sender remote value very well, then it can be, it can be help us again, the sender volume. And, uh, Currently, uh, for the image, for the old operating system image, currently we are using uh, Fedora. Yeah, you, we know Fedora is uh, normally uh, it's for the developers. So for the we know for in for some uh, uh, really product environment, uh, the CentOS should be a better choice. Uh, yeah, 
uh, we know in, in PRC, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, company, a lot of uh, enterprise user uh, are like to use uh, CentOS. Uh, so, but currently, <coughs> in our practice, the CentOS support is not, uh, it's not ready. So, the next, uh, uh, the next very important thing is we uh, need to, uh, to enable the CentOS deployment. Uh, yeah. As I mentioned uh, in the, during the practice of the bimetal, uh, bimetal cluster for compute, con, uh, for IGPC, uh, we have found a lot of uh, uh, bugs inside the community project. Uh, after that, so uh, our developers has uh, set up, that has submitted several, several uh, bunch of uh, patches to fix them. Uh, maybe all of them has not been merged until now, but uh, I, I believe after the, all the patches have been uh, merged, uh, has been upstream uh, into the into the new release. Uh, after that, the 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 the, the bare metal bare metal HPC solution will be uh, much better for other users. So, uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> I think uh, we have uh, described the, the, the solution uh, uh, because of the time is limited, so there's a, uh, still a lot of details uh, we have not uh, covered. So, if, we, uh, if, if you have some questions, we can uh, talk more. Uh, in some, uh, if you have some questions, or. Uh, or we can talk more uh, offline too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.